small businesses i don't know about the ones who you know listening in but for me it was always a case of you're generally poor on time you're often poor on money and in many cases it's just you so if it either at the start or if let's face it you're a freelance consultant then ongoing so you need to be wearing so many hats all at once that how do you make the best use of your time um if we can actually go in and we can target what we want to do with LinkedIn, then I think we can actually make great use and very be very time efficient on it. Um, the issue I find time and time again is that, I don't know, we get all excited. Um, I can't remember who told me about it, but it was the old SOS, shiny object syndrome. So I see LinkedIn, I hear all this good stuff about it, and I go and say, yeah, I'm gonna spend all my time on LinkedIn. But we don't actually stop and think, hold on, what do I want to do? Um, and for me, that's always the first block. You've got this great tool, but stop. Now, what do you want to achieve? You can't go in and do everything. If I go in there, I know damn well I'm going to find something on the home page I like. I'm going to click on it. I'm going to spend half an hour on the web. I'm going to come back to LinkedIn, and I won't remember what I wanted to do in the first place. So if we can forget that, go in with a plan. Then the profile needs to be put in place because that's point one of the plan. Present yourself in the right way. Then if it's marketing or if it's sales, who do I want to talk to? Well, great. I need to listen. I need to research. I need to find. And then I need to engage. And so there's all these things together. But it's, it, if you can plan it, then it becomes such a sort of a targeted specific uh, tool. Then, you know, it just delivers on every level, really, for me. You mentioned consultants and a few different, uh, you know, types of small businesses that are out there. If you could pick, you know, you know, a handful of um, industries or um, businesses that people have to be on LinkedIn, like they need to be used, they can benefit the most from this platform, what would they be? Oh, gosh. Um, I, I think you can get benefit at all levels, if I'm honest. Um, it's just different levels. So the ones who make best use, gosh. To be honest, I, I see it across the board. Uh, I think the ones where, for example, the relationship side, so the, for example, uh, the targeted referrals that we can get by tapping into a client's connections and then through the client, getting an introduction to those works really well with the relationship based uh, sort of profession. So I look at finance, I look at legal. Um, for me, those are ones where your expertise is, is not difficult to prove, but it really comes from the fact that you've worked with people, they've loved what you've done, and they tell people about it. And they'd always tell me they get lots of their business through LinkedIn and through, sorry, through word of mouth. Well, for me, it's merely tapping into that through LinkedIn. So when they're talking to a client, if they can go into that client, they can go down to the connection section, they can then search through that client's connections and bring up, because obviously you can be very specific in your search even there, people that they know with a similar situation or similar problems. Now, and I always think it should be going through the client because I want to deepen that we can now ask them could you introduce me could you refer me so we're encouraging but very targeted word of mouth not just if you know anyone who might be interested can you let them know about me so for me the financial and the legal really has a huge power but if we take right the other end of the scale I was at a trade show a couple of weeks ago and a lady came up and she asked me um, oh this LinkedIn thing um, how can it help me I said, what do you do? Um, apparently, she was making a new brand of socks. Well, B2B, I think, works well on LinkedIn. B2C, a little bit less. So I said, well, look, you could put this out there. You might be able to find clients. But for me, if I was going to put it here, I would suggest that you look at your supply chain here or your downstream. In other words, start to look at other people who are on there who are selling this sort of stuff. Have you got uh, manufacturing? Well, we're just starting. Well, great. You can find manufacturers on here. So for me, it depends on where your, your pain points are, if I can put it like that, uh, and then adapting and finding the right people and just leveraging that on the way uh, going through. But I think the face-to-face, -face, the personal stuff really works well. Some of the others, 
maybe a little less normal, but equally powerful uh, options on LinkedIn.